हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सूरज इन क्लाउड सिंस वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई हैवेंट अपलोडेड एनी वीडियो सो या आई वॉज बिजी विथ सम पर्सनल वर्क बट नाउ नाउ दैट आई एम हियर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू सीरीज ऑन ई के एस आई यूज ई के एस क्वाइट अ लॉट बिकॉज ऑफ माई डे टू डे वर्क सो आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माई नॉलेज थ्रू दिस सीरीज will cover things one at a time i'll keep videos short and crisp so let's see how that goes so the very first episode is introductory i'm just going to introduce what eks is and how are things so that if there's anyone who is not aware uh, will have some idea about what eks is and in subsequent episodes uh, will go over and see how we can create how we can manage how we can update uh, what are the add-ons uh, what are some management tools what are some open source tools which we can use we'll go over them one by one so for now let's begin our episode 1 so amazon eks it is managed kubernetes offering by aws which is amazon web services when i say managed that means the control plane is managed in next episode we will see uh, what that means what part aws manage what part user has to manage uh, but for now we can say it's a managed kubernetes means you don't have to worry about any part of control plane now aws launched the service in 2017 but when it launched it was not available for everyone so later on in june 2018 uh, amazon eks was generally available amazon eks is available as three different products or project i would say first one is very uh, widely used which is uh, if if you are a user of amazon cloud you will just go into the console you will create or you use any apis and create the cluster and you know these clusters gets deployed into the amazon hardware on in their data centers second one is bit interesting amazon eks on aws outpost what that means is aws has another offering called aws outpost where amazon provides their own hardware to the customer and they run amazon softwares on these hardwares in the customer environment now we will go over this as well uh, unfortunately i won't be able to run it but i will definitely keep one episode for this where at least i can explain the how the architecture looks like uh, right and third one is eks anywhere means you can run eks even on your own hardware in your own data center the deployment the project which deploys this stuff is open source uh will go over it in another episode as well so it's pretty good it available in a three different form one more thing to add is eks is certified kubernetes so what that means is and like who provides this certificate so let's quickly take a look so cncf which is cloud native computing foundation certifies this kubernetes offerings which are like provided by these vendors such as amazon or microsoft has their aks and and so on and what this certificate and what this conformant means is that uh, <clears throat> as as this website says every vendor's version of kubernetes supports the required apis as to open source community versions means these cloud providers they have to provide the version which is available right and few other things here is they have there should be a consistency the update should be timely and confirmability 
right so everything should be like that and the another reason is if you are running something on uh, one kubernetes it should be very easy to move to another kubernetes there shouldn't be any kind of vendor locking so that's the one of the idea behind it <clears throat> there are many big companies uh, which are now certified so one of them is aws for their eks offering microsoft is for their aks offering and so on and you can see there are few uh, which we use for you know for local deployment so minikube is there kind is there and you will see eks anywhere is also there which we already discussed right so that's it for this episode in upcoming episode we will discuss how the architecture of eks looks like right so till then uh, like share subscribe and stay tuned bye